Okay, we have garlic. This is the ingredient of making bio pesticides. So in efforts to improve agriculture as to control food shortage in the region and increase income. Small farmers in Zanzibar are said to benefit from the quality mboga mboga farming. A one-year project to support horticulture and vegetable growing. That's the trust. Tanzania in alliance with Zanzibar Association of Tourism Investors, Zaki, launched the project in the Stone Town with a pilot involving 150 farmers in about six villages on Unguja Island with extending to other farming entrepreneurs. My name is Julia Bishop and I work at the Zanzibar Association of Tourists and Investors. I'm the director. Here in Zanzibar there's an exciting new project that's just beginning. Um, it's one of a series of initiatives and they're all going to go towards the Poverty Eradication and Economic Wealth Initiative, Vision 2020. The idea of the project is to teach farmers in Zanzibar to grow vegetables that will be bought by the hotels in the tourism industry here. Guts the Trust, Tanzania board member, Mr. Khalid Mirza, said, over 100 million Tanzania shillings will be available for small farmers to lend as to grow quality vegetables and sell them tourist hotels in the islands which have been importing fruits and vegetables from outside Zanzibar due poor quality and insufficient production. Mr. Mezza said the focus was to help small farmers to increase and improve vegetables production. He added that the project aims at helping government and international efforts in poverty production strategies. Small farmers have welcomed the training, hoping that they would increase farm products in the near future and hopefully double their income. Many women have been involved in farming, but the quality of vegetables produced are poor due to lack of skills and also have sufficient market. Reporting from Zanzibar, Salma Said, Voice of Africa.